my little bunnies today I'm gonna to be doing a small haul because I have to do a DIY today so I went and picked up a couple more items for my DIY and then a few other items so I'm gonna jump right into that and um, this stuff that I, I'm showing you right here I got from a store called Dollar General um, I don't know if you guys have them in your neighborhood but it's a pretty cool dollar store that sells really nice house stuff um, food um makeup they started selling some clothes like pajamas and st uh, pjs and stuff like that so i picked up some of these bows these are gorgeous i got two silver two silver ones and these are really heavy duty bows and these were only a dollar and i picked up two in the red And they're very messy. <laughs> very, very messy. Okay. Set them there. And then I also grabbed, um, because I told you guys that I'm going to be doing, I bought the really big um, stockings for my girls for um, Christmas last year. And I filled them up with a bunch of stuff. Well, this year I'm still going to do that, but I'm also going to um, fill up a nice size one to hang on because you can't hang those on the fireplace. They're just way too big. So I put them underneath the tree, but I still want to hang some stockings up um, on my fireplace. So I'll probably do the huge stockings and fill it up with nothing but gifts. And then I'll do the, the big ones like these. I'll fill up with nothing but candy and um, lip balms and hair stuff and things like that. So I found these big ones and these ones were $3 a piece and it says let it snow and I was only able to find two of the same so um, I'll show you what I'm going to do about that so that way they don't mix up their stockings and they know which ones are theirs every year. I just thought these were really cute. They're very thick and durable. They're not cheap at all. Um, so that was a very good deal. So because I was trying to think like okay. I want to use the huge stockings again this year, but um, I don't want to put like hair stuff and all that crap in there because this year my daughter's turning 17 and we never let her wear makeup. So um, this year I'm thinking about, because her birthday's three days before Christmas, so I'm thinking about maybe making her a nice little makeup bag, um, but with like, you know, nudes and nice colors fit for a 17 year old girl. She don't need to be walking around with all the blues and the pinks all over her face. My daughter has dark features, like thick eyebrows and very long, dark eyelashes. She looks like she has makeup on her face already. Um, so, uh, she don't really need makeup. So, you know, um, I'm thinking about making her up a nice little makeup bag with, you know, some lip gloss, um, stuff like that. Uh, we just recently, when she turned 16, started letting her wear, you know, light lip gloss on her lips. So we just don't, we're not, you know, that's just who we are as parents. Some parents don't mind their kids wearing it at 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 years old, but we just don't approve. Um, there's no reason for a 17 year old girl to be flashing or 16 year old girl, sorry, to be flashing, um, you know, like that. I mean, I understand the beauty of them wanting to do it for themselves, but I also understand the beauty of people out there getting the wrong impression. But seeing she's going to be 17 and she's in 12th grade, um, we figured that, you know, I can make her up a nice little kit that is appropriate for her age. So I want to be able to put that makeup inside of that big stocking along with hair products and stuff like that. So that's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> Some may not agree, but that's just my, that's my way. Um, okay, also... Um, okay, I'm going to jump off of the Dollar General for a minute because I have some Dollar Tree items sitting in front of me. I picked up this really, um, these small bulbs and these are like red, some are red uh, matte, some are red shiny, and some are red sparkle. And I'm going to be using these for a DIY along with these gold ones. And I will show you guys that DIY. I'm going to do a DIY video today. Um... And then also, I picked up another one of the extension cords. This is the six foot extension cord. 
I own one already from the Dollar Tree and I really do like it. It is very solid and heavy duty. Just know with extension cords like this, you cannot put it outside. Um, this is definitely an indoor um, cord. So also for DIY, I found they put these out and these are cute little poinsettias and they have little cherries and little um, berries and stuff like that on there. I guess they're cherries or something. <laughs> so they were really cute. And then here are the bird ones that I was talking about before, how they were all smashed. Well, they put some more out, and these were the only ones that were decent. And I really like them. Um, you know, they're not as smashed as the other ones were, but I thought they were really pretty. The red ones were smashed completely. I don't even know why they have them on the shelf, because they're damaged. I found some more CDs. Um, this one is Aaron Carter. Oh, Aaron. And when I seen it, I wasn't sure if it's something that my daughter would listen to, but I got it for her anyway, um, because this was the only one they had. And it says, includes the smash hits, O oh, Aaron features Nick Carter and No Secrets, not too young, not too old, and stride jump on the fuzzy. Okay, but them are just included features in this, so I've never heard of this uh, boy before, but it might be something my daughter might like. And then I found Edwin McCain's The Records of 15 Soul Classics, including Can I Get a Witness, Some Kind of um, Wonderful Good Times, and I Can't Get Next to You. So I grabbed that also. And I found these really cute um, ones with berries on them, and then they have these little gold squiggly things for the DIY. And then I also picked up another one of the cords with the bulb in it. Picked up another one of those. That's the last one they had, so I grabbed it. And then I made a mistake by putting out some of the Christmas candy early, and my kids and husband demolished them. These are really super good. Um, these are the Christmas nougats, and when you feel them, they feel like they're hard, but when you put them in your mouth, they melt, like they chew really, really soft. So if you guys feel these... And you're like, oh, I don't like hard candy. It's going to be like hard taffy that gets stick stuck in your teeth. That is not how these are. Um, trust me. So pick some of those up. I grabbed two more bags of those. And I'm not going to put them up till closer to Christmas. That was a big mistake. I, I don't know why I even did it. And then I found this really pretty ribbon for a DIY. This is a nine foot wire edge ribbon. And I thought this was really pretty. It's in the gold. They had lots of different ribbons at my Dollar Tree. And then I also picked up two more of the candle holders. Um, I'm not gonna unwrap this one just yet, but this is the same as the ones that I got before. Um, I put the candles in them that I bought and that's what they look like. And I'm gonna show you something in just a moment. So I bought two more of those. I'm not gonna take them out of the, um, wrapping because I don't want them to break my last one cracked so it's still doable but it cracked then I found the gold berries and then I got some of the leaves with the berries I had to go to the dog I didn't even get no makeup you guys so that just tells you that I really strictly went to try to get some of this Christmas decoration stuff out of the way. <clears throat> I didn't get any cosmetics this time. I helped myself with that. And I grabbed two tin pans because I'm going to be doing um, a cooking um, video for you guys. I'm not going to tell you what I'm making just yet. And then this bag is mixed with some stuff from the Dollar General, some from the Dollar Tree. Um, they have these envelopes going on there, and these are um, the bubble wrap envelopes. And on here it says, Handle with Care Fragile. And they are moisture resistant, waterproof. So I picked up one of those, as I will be needing it. And then from the Dollar General, I found this really cool um, stencil. And I will be using this 
Um, they're showing how you could use it on the back of lamps, on your border, above your um, cabinets, stuff like that. But I will be using this for, I think this winter I'm going to be getting back into doing my um, fondant cakes. So um, I normally make my own stencils. I have the stencil paper and I have the stencil cutter and I normally print off <clears throat> and stencil out my own. But when I seen this for a dollar, I was like, what the hey? So I went ahead and got it. It was really pretty. And then I went ahead and grabbed some more of the pink hangers. You get, they're supposed to be six, but you get two extra bonus. So you get eight of them in here. Um, as I said before, I normally grab the huggable hangers, which I ordered online. And it's taking like way too long to get here. So I just went ahead and grabbed these because they're only a dollar. And then um, I'll use them for now because I just took a bunch of clothes to the cleaners. And they have to be hung up. Um, so... I'm going to use these and then when my huggable hangers get here, I'll take them down and give these to my girls. They really don't need, they have like a closet full of huggable hangers also, but their clothes are a lot more lighter than mine are. So they don't need like really sturdy um, hangers. They just need simple ones. So I'll give them to them. Too much explaining, eh? And then um, this is a really cool container. Now I've seen the tins that they have there. But this one is plastic. This is the only one I've seen. I wanted more. And this is bigger than the ones, the other one, the tin ones. And I thought this was really cute because it's like a thick plastic. And I really like that. So what I'm going to do is maybe make some brownies or something with you guys and put them in here. And that would be nice to give to somebody. You could put a bowl right on top with some cookies or brownies in there and just give them to somebody or bring them to your Christmas dinner if you're eating somewhere other than your own home. And then I also got one of these styrofoam block things. I'm going to need this for my DIY that I'll be doing. And I grabbed three jumbo size. These are huge laundry bags. Um, I use these to put all of my comforters in um, because I have tons of comforters. So I use these, fold them up, and put them inside of here and um, put like dryer sheets in between each layer of your comforters and close the bag up and your blankets will smell like that forever. And then I got some of these parchment paper um, sheets and you get 10 sheets in here. They're good to use for cookies. Instead of you putting your cookies right on your cookie sheet, you can put them right on the parchment paper. That way you have less cleanup. And then I got these for my daughter. I tried the sweet and spicy ones and they are so, so good. This is the jalapeno cheese flavor and they're only a dollar. That's a nice size bag. I got these from Dollar General. The parchment paper I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm sorry I'm mixing everything up. <laughs> and then I got two more of these from the Dollar Tree and I got these for the... I hope the back is still on there because the back fell off. But it might be in the bag. Um, I grabbed some more stacks from the Dollar Tree and I grabbed some of these glitter paints because I'm going to be using these for the back of the stockings and my girls can write their name on it because since they're the same stocking they'll know which one is theirs. So I bought some of the glitter paint so they can just squeeze their name on there. <coughs> and... The reason why I bought these little candle things here, um, these are like the light up. I hope you guys can see that. See, they're brighter than they're showing on film because, you know, the light's on. And then these light up flicker. It flickers here. And I bought those for the purpose of the other two that I bought because these fit perfectly inside of there. So, um, they'll be really nice to set out as well because they change colors. So you just take the paper off and they also have different designs, but I like the white ones. So they look just like so. They are beautiful. Like, especially when it's dark. Yep. And they fit like 
perfectly inside of there. A lot better than um, oops, than these ones, even though they look cute also. Okay. So, I think that's it. Oh. <laughs> and then I got a few pieces of jewelry from <clears throat> that Dollar General store. I got these really cute earrings for my daughter. And I got these for my daughter. She loves these kind of earrings. And then I got her this really pretty necklace. And it looks like this. And it has little <clears throat> accents on it. And then it also comes with earrings. But these are not the cutest. <laughs> And then I found these really cute hula girl um, nails. Of course, I'll probably wear them in the summertime because they're more summer-like. But they got little hula ladies on them. They're really cute. So that is that concludes everything from my haul. And I will be doing a DIY with y'all um, as soon as I'm done uploading this video. Um... Actually, I have two DIYs, but one's a small one and one's a bigger one. So we're gonna take turn this off so we don't burn out burn out our thing there. Alrighty. So y'all, um, I will get back to you with my next video, and I I'm probably gonna hurry up and do the DIY, um, because I want to do my cooking thing with you guys also. So, I'm not going to take long doing the DIY. Or I might do the cooking thing and then the DIY tonight or something. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But I'm going to upload this video for sure so y'all can see it. I know it wasn't much. I know it was short. Well, it was a little long for what I had. But I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.